Roger. Hello. We're live. Hi, friends. Your camera's crooked. It is? There. Oh, a little bit crooked. Looks good. Hi. <laughs> Hi, friends. This is my mama. Aw. This is my... Um, this is my youngest, Abby. You guys hear me talk about Abby from time to time. Um, okay, I just got a notification. Uh, you on. did? Oh, honey, that's so sweet. She's live. Yay! You really do know when I go live. Set up. I wonder if Summer does that too. Set up those notifications. Yes. Yeah, so set up your notifications or text me at seven four zero two seven three six six nine three. I always let you guys know. There's Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Um, see, it's got my little stars. Oh, and you only see how you just get a second to. See, there's Andrea. See, you barely get Hello. a second to see who it is. So I always have to scroll back. Oh, it's Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Terry Reno. Hi, girls. So I have, um, I, I have Abby here with me, which you know always makes me so happy. Um, we've been visiting Grandma all day, so we um, just kind of got up and we, we uh, here we are. <laughs> we just got home and we wanted to visit with you guys too. There's Brenda and Rhonda. Watching from Spokane, Washington. That's always so cool. Hi, Pamela. So we have a couple tips for you guys. Um, just some decorating things that, oh, hi. Hi, who, who said that? There's Brenda. She said, hi, Abby. And Elaine. Oh, that's so sweet. Elaine's always so sweet. That's so funny. Hi, she you said, guys. Hi, sunshine. Oh. It's funny because you have a face like sunshine and you smell like pine <laughs> hi, needles. Hi, needles. Yeah. There's a movie. Um, there's Sherry Eddie. Oh, what did she say? My internet is sketchy. Oh. Okay, well, at least you got to see us to say hi, Sherry. <laughs> um, first thing I want to tell you guys about, we were, I was just sharing this. Oh, there was someone from Ontario, Canada. Judy. Hi, Judy. Um, this is a, they're called scent sticks. They're smelly sticks. You get them uh, at Hobby Lobby. They come with little Christmas hangers on them, little Christmas uh, ball hooks. Hey, Tammy. And... Um, I just, I stick them in, you're supposed oh. <laughs> They're strong. I'm going to smell like <laughs> pine needles. I'm going to smell like pine needles all evening. Um, but anyway, you guys look for these. They have, um, what does my mom buy? Cinnamon. My mom likes the cinnamon, but I love this pine. It just smells like, it says, um, smells fresh cut. And um, they're called Scent Sickles, and they are at Hobby Lobby. And you guys, I can tell you how good they are. I keep them in my cabinet. I usually buy about six bottles at this time of year because it's the only time they're out. And I keep them all year in my cabinet, and I stick them down in my, um, I stick them down in my, like my arrangements by my chair or on the kitchen table or whatever. Um, oh, you saw them at Walmart too? Are you? Did you just take a picture? She's an Instagrammer, <laughs> aren't you? So, and there's Janet. Hi, Janet. Thanks for jumping in. Um, you've bought them for years. You think you got them at Walmart. Okay, Kathy. I've never seen them there. I'm not a huge Walmart. Um, you know, hi, Robin. I don't I do not do a lot of Walmarting, but I do um, the Walmart. Hobby Lobby, and they're on the end cap. I can tell you that every year I find them on the end, not down the aisle, but on the end, okay? Uh, is there a price? $9.99, and I'm sure you get that, whatever the discount might be. But I, I recommend them. They smell so good. You love them, too? I do, too. So good. Good deal. All right, so just, oh, you know. that's a lot of people. I try to not have any secrets from you guys. I try to tell you all of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah, I send her all these things. Oh, let's talk about your earrings. My ear holes yeah. are hurting. Uh, well, Abby is from California. Abby does a lot of modeling. She's the one I talk about all the time. And um, she said the new trend in California is to have two different earrings. So I think you guys will, um, can yeah. you tell? So she bought them that way. Um, it that came you get, this way and it came with a third one too. For They're a third hole. If you Did you have an option for a third or, oh, they just came as a set of three it's, and you could like swap a, them. It's an earring trio. Mm-hmm. So that's like the big thing in California is to mismatch your earrings. But you wouldn't wear like a post and a hang down, right? You would, yeah, I would. You would? I would wear a hoop here and do it like that. Oh, see, that's a lot. I like it better like that where they're like the same but a little different. Gotta dial it down when I come here. Yes, she's gotta be. 
Because she's got to... So I come downstairs. Put her what Ohio on. Outfit? Yeah, she's got to put her Ohio on. When did she get Today's one? the first outfit I've ever put on that you guys are saying, what is that? I did? You didn't say that. I didn't. Not this time. You always do. Oh, yeah, well, she's always interesting. <laughs> sure, right? No. Good, in a good way. So anyway, this is Abby. Um, I don't know how to tell. Most of you girls know Abby, but I know there's a few new ones. I have another daughter, Summer. She's in Arizona. She's in Scottsdale, Arizona. And so um, she's sad because she's not home with all of us, but it's okay. She'll be home and then you'll get to meet her too. She's not as um, social media as Abby, right? Abby's got yeah. a huge following on Instagram. Yes, we're in Ohio. So Abby came a long way at the very last minute. She texted me on Tuesday and said, I'm coming in. Um, I'm coming in. There's Nancy. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Yes, we are from Ohio. And there's Christina. Uh, and there's from Kentucky, Kimberly from Kentucky. So, okay, let's get on with a couple of more tips. So, oh, I'm going to show you this too. I got all kinds of little things just in case we ran out of things to talk about, right? Glass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I did a little crafting on my own. I didn't, I didn't, I was gonna do this with you guys and I didn't. Remember when I took the lampshade apart and I made this sewing arrangement um, on the wood slice um, and I was showing you guys how I laid it all out and how it would hang really well or it props in an easel really well and it's all old sewing items and old lace and doilies and that sort of thing. Well, I had enough to do another one and I just, I just felt like uh, it was the night before she was coming and I just needed to breathe, you know, <laughs> take a little minute and, and breathe. Um, Terry remembers because she wants to buy that one. So here's the other one, Terry. I'm glad you're here so that you can see. So here's the other one that I made. And it's all, again, old sewing items. Whoops, my fringe is down a little bit. But I just, it was just nice, I don't know why, but just squeezing that glue gun and, I don't know, just something about creating is um, relaxing to me. So anyway, the, so just to give you guys an idea, I wanted to show you that I went ahead and made another one. Um, I'm sorry I didn't do it with you guys. I just, I don't know, I just didn't have any chat in me. You know, there's sometimes you just kind of want to sit back and, Terry, I'll send you a picture of both and then you can pick which one you want. Um, doesn't matter to me. So anyway, there you go, some ideas. If you guys have some old sewing things, these are like, this is the end of a tape measure. And these are uh, uh, bobbins and the old needles. And I made a flower out of an old tape measure. And this, I don't even know what, I think this is off a sewing machine. And this is a button hooker when you would, they always had little teeny tiny buttons all the way down their back or like on their shoes. So they would use this to pull the button through the hooks. See, I'm not lying. And then this hold, had needles, it held needles. Every time I come home, the first thing we do is go through the house and she shows me all of her new things. Yeah, and what's new, and <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll challenge her, her and crafts. say, what's different? And then she'll tell me about every little thing that's on every single thing, and that's a lot of things. I can't help myself. It's I love my it's stuff. Cute. You guys all know that we love our it. stuff, so. It's cute. <laughs> Prideful thing, right? Okay, so let's talk about beans. Better beans. You wanna talk about beans? Beans. Beans. All right, let's talk about beans. Magical fruits. So, so okay, these are black-eyed peas, okay? And you guys that follow me know, I talk about black, well, okay, let me, okay. You know that I talk about this stuff all the time. I wanna show One them, but I, time. but I wanna show them without. I know, I always hate, I always hate to waste their time. So, okay, I have a, just a wood bowl. These are on my website, TammyLovesVintage.com. Woo, woo, and then there, these are on there too. Um, we have the little. Let's see them, here, let me hold. Okay, we have the green. So I'm just gonna decorate this bowl for you guys, okay? I have this little miniature plops, hops, plop. It's a, it's miniature hops, but it's a plop. You know how I call my plops that are flat and this is, boom, done. Like, like beer hops? You plop, yeah, they're beer hops, uh -huh, but, you, oh, cool. but you plop them. I just plop them in the bowl. I have all different kinds of plops, but that's my hops plop, my miniature hops plop. There's a big one too. Um, your sons don't care. Oh, that's funny. I care. And At then I care. I do have this I do bottle. Care. I know I just grabbed a few things. I thought maybe we could work it in. Mm, I think it needs to go there. That needs to go back. Okay, so we have a cute little arrangement. I did get one of my little broken. Um, do I even want to put it in? My little broken. Uh, you know how they they get that out of the trash. Oh, in um, ah, in uh, um, England they. 
these are like one-time use containers. They're, it's what's up in your bedroom on the shelves. All of that's on the website for them to shop. Um, anyway, so- It's very Halloween, by the way. What? My room that, upstairs feels very it does? Halloween. Yeah, because you got that, you have that chandelier with the flickering orange light in oh, it. Oh, yeah. And then the windowsill has those little fake uh, fire Candles. things. Yeah. Oh, but it's not Halloween. It's it my everyday. Trick or treaty in there. <laughs> It must just be the season. It's the color of the candle. Yeah, candles. yeah. They're a bit more orange. Um, okay, so show them the inside of this bowl if you can. How you can, look like down inside. There you go. See you how should. you can see down in the bowl? Oh, I see. And I don't much. like that. I don't like to be, maybe I should put it down. Put it down and I'll just tip it down and show them. There you go. Okay, there you go. See how when you walk by the bowl, you I see down in the bowl? Okay, so I'm going to show you how I fix that. And... Um, so, oh, I might need the scissors. Let's see. Here, you work on opening. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show it. I, okay, I did too. All right. So, just go ahead and pour. So, usually, I'll put the beans in first, but when you have a bottle like this, you don't want to put the beans in first. You don't need the whole bag. But I just want to show you the difference when you look down in. That's good. Okay, and then we'll put this back in here, and it's nice to tuck the beans in there. Okay, and so can you tell? See, I totally see a difference in the camera, you guys, so I don't know if you want to. But there you go. So instead of seeing the wood bowl, you see these beans, and it just kind of adds, <laughs> it just kind of adds to the, the look, and um, it gives you yet another dimension, but it also holds your things in place. Like it keeps all your balls from rolling around. It gives you a little lift if you need it. Settles your bottle in there nicely. Okay, so let's do it with, we've got a Christmas season coming up here, guys. Are you taking so out these beans? Uh-huh, here, I, I was ready for you. Slide them in there. <laughs> Gaston. <laughs> oh, whoops, they don't want to look at my bowl now. Okay, come back up here. Hi. <laughs> You're going to start doing... Can you tell that we're twins? <laughs> yeah, but I was never a model. <laughs> uh -huh. I, never got out, I never got out of Could town. Could have been. Did you guys see that photo of her? Let me find it. Which one? The one that I love. Do you love a photo of me? Yeah. We'll see. She's okay, pretty. now I'm going to show you when you, um, so I always tell you if you have like a red decor to go for the red kidney beans, or if you want to pull white, you can do these that I just showed you, the, the um, Black Eyed Susans, or you could, I don't think, not Black Eyed Susan, Black Eyed Peas, or you could, Black Eyed Susan is a flower. Um, did you know that? Yes. Oh, I'm impressed. And um, if if you you could do white kidney beans, these are all the dried beans. So I thought I would show you the red. These are just called light red kidney beans. They didn't have any dark, but I thought the red for Christmas would be good. So let me get this bowl all arranged for you, and I'll tip you down in the meantime. Let's wait for Abby to find her favorite picture of me. Oh gosh, I'm scared. <laughs> It's probably from 30 years ago when I was thinner. Can't wait to see. <laughs> I didn't know I had a good one. Okay, so let me get this all rearranged just like it was. I'm not changing anything so that you guys can see the, um, <clears throat> the difference. Okay, so here we go. I'll just put it down. It's easier for you guys to see down in. Okay, here's the red. There you go, that's better in the light. But see the red beans? So I think if you're doing like a vintage look, that's not a screaming red, but it's a nice, soft, subtle red. It's a very um, burnt red. You know, a lot of people have a lot of burnt red in their homes and their kitchens, like a brick color. It's a perfect red for that sort of look. But I thought at Christmas time, it might be a good look. Okay, so I have one more bean I wanna share with you. You know, I used to call her my bean. Actually, she's my I'm bean. I'm still my your bean. I know. She was just, when she was a baby, she would curl like in this little, it looked like a lima bean. <laughs> so I started calling her my bean and even like. Bean pole. My bean pole. Yeah, because she was so skinny. We called her bean pole and beanie and she's still my little beanie, aren't you? Yeah. And I, 
I do. She's in my phone. Actually, I had her in my phone as Abby, and she changed it to Beanie a few years ago. Every every card, I change it to Bean. She always changes it to Bean. Yeah. She she likes being I'm Mama's little Bean. Oh, thank you. Oh, that was my friend Pam's wet. What's your favorite picture? Isn't he beautiful? Yeah. Yes. I don't know. Funny. That was me at my friend Pam's wedding. Twins. <laughs> I wonder, oh, I hope Pam's watching. Oh. <laughs> See, I was a lot thinner and tanner. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, Beautiful. Thank you, honey. Yeah, that was Pam's wedding. Um, okay. <laughs> I was curious which one. You just it's saw that pretty. not too long ago, right? Yeah, you Pam shared it. What are you yeah. doing now? I'm doing the green ones. So let's talk about these green split peas. Yeah, go ahead. These are green split peas. I hope they're not too, it's not too noisy. I don't recommend buying, I love the green split peas. Let's just say, get that out first. And the green split peas are my absolute favorite bean. However, it's not gonna look good with all this green Yeah, stuff. it does, yeah, it does. And however, I have to tell you, nope, that one goes over here. Why? Because I want them to be the same so they can see all the different, what the different um, beans do for it. Okay, so let's talk about the green beans. Did I put that in right? Yeah. Okay. Should have taken right. three photos and make a reel out of it. There you go. Look at what that does. But let me tell you, I love the green. I love the green. It's like my favorite thing. It's my favorite bean. But let me tell you what happens. So there's the three different looks. But let me tell you what happens. Those green ones, the peas will fade. And I, it was crazy. I was looking at the store and they had all of the green peas, all, you know, the little bags all piled up. And I was digging through because I wanted the greenest one. So I'm like reaching clear back as far back as I could. And I found a greener bag than the one up front. The one up front had already started yellowing. You guys, these beans will yellow out on you. So when I would go back to clients' houses to redecorate or to paint another room, I would notice their beans always needed stirred and I'd take their flowers out or whatever I'd put in the jar and I'd stir them around and put them back so that they looked fresher. So the beans that are on the outside will fade really quickly. I mean, like within a month or two, you'll notice them starting to fade. So you do have to stir them and replace them if you want the green, just telling you, because I don't like walking in and seeing yellowed out green peas. It just doesn't look right to me. Mom bought me flowers. When I, <laughs> I bought her a dozen. And of she had a chocolate bar next to my bed that she knew I I would like and she bought all my food that I like a healthy food in the fridge that's what mom's do and right? she had my favorite wine and I had a welcome home Abby on. and then when I get home she's no like, welcome home honey I didn't do anything for you well I didn't do it it didn't do a lot extra just a little extra because you know she has to watch what she eats so I know there's certain foods you know what I mean she's she always does different um foods than like no toast that? Yeah, we add a little flower to our, uh, to our. We could put um, it down and put it in there. No, Why? no, because I'm going to put this back away. I'm going to put it back up in the website shelves. Nah. Um, anyway, so the green peas will fade. All right. I don't know if you could spray them with like hairspray. You know, we do a lot of Aquanet. She is an amazing woman and mama. Aw, who said that? That was so Everyone. sweet. Thank you, guys. Um, but anyway, so the green peas I thought would be really good for you guys to use at Christmas time. So, because, you know, when you have out your Christmas decor, think of how pretty the red Christmas bulbs or purple or whatever you decorate, even pink, like whatever you use for your Christmas colors, whites. I mean, you can see already how good they look with whites. So the, the green would be a great backdrop for all of that. And then when Christmas is over, just pitch them. And so I thought, I'm grabbing the green peas just for Christmas, and then I'll get rid of them and then bring back out my um, my everyday uh, black-eyed peas. My everyday, they look like this up close. They have just a little black dot, which I love, or you could do the kidney beans. So the peas are just, are all of the dried beans are a great little tip for you guys. Hey, Karen. Everyone's saying hi. I, hi, everyone. <laughs> I texted everyone. I text all the text people to tell me we were doing this. Uh, there's Beth. She says, hey, Hello. hey, Gabby. Your soup was delicious. <laughs> Beth has the best recipe for clam chowder. Clam chowder. I would never had clam chowder before, but it was delicious. It reminded me a lot of, of a potato soup, of my mom's potato soup, but the flavor was 
I was gonna say a little better, but I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> Mom's is really good. Green beans are great for Christmas. I think it would be a great time to use the green, um, but listen, when you're at the store, dig for the greenest bags. I could only find two. I bought three bags of everything else. There were only two green, really nicely green bags. I should have bought a yucky one just to show you, but even in the bag, you could tell from the back back here, like those are all green. Nothing's yellowed out yet, but they'll turn yellow. I'm not kidding, fast. So there you go. Last time she was home, we didn't have anything to talk about, so we were just gonna go live and chat, but it was kind of like, what do we talk about? It was kind of silence, yeah. So um, yeah, so I, I tried to pull some things together that we could chit chat about. What do you wanna talk about? I don't know, what I'm do you done. guys want us to talk about? <laughs> Questions? Yeah. yeah. Questions? Concerns? The uh, Bass Pro Shops fall catalog came out, and Abby's in that. Proud moment. Dad's really proud. Dad's, well, I'm proud of you too, but Dad was super proud of the Bass Pro Shop catalog. So, ah, uh, who said that? I can't, see, I hate that you only see Nancy one Campbell. at a time. Nancy. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Thanks, you guys. I'll answer you back, but if you see, oh, thanks, Karen. If you see us, um, you love clam chowder? Okay, we'll see if she'll share the recipe. Um, thanks, Dee Dee. Uh, we'll see if Beth will share the recipe. I'll post it if she will. Um, yes, Sherry, you know about the green because she's worked at, when I had my store, Sherry worked there and helped me out. So um, yeah, Bass Pro Shops was a big one. I think I have the photo from it. She, I screenshot several, but I'm on my phone so I can't show you. Um, She's done a lot of, of work. If you guys, now that you see her, they can make her look so different in these catalogs. Um, like, tell me some, Billabong, Belk. Um, yeah, there's one of the Bass Pro Shops. Uh, Billabong and Belk. Tell me who else? Kohl's, Penny. I knew you were going to have me. Name I know, drop. but there's so know. many. I she know. does a lot of what they call e-com, which is just like online catalog shopping. I do a lot of activewear, Tilly's. Uh, jewelry. Yeah, she does a lot of jewelry. Skin care. What is swim. that you're looking at? This is all the companies I've worked for this year. Oh, I don't recognize any of them. Gee whiz, honey. Fitness, fitness, fitness. Eyewear, diff eyewear. Some people might know what that is. Mm -hmm. Billabong. Mm -hmm. We said that one. Mm -hmm. Bridal, Allure Bridal. Swimwear, Lucy in the Sky, Naturium Skin. There's so many brands out so there. So many. She did. Nail space. Uh, she got to do her nails. Who was the guy that owned the gel nail? Oh, I don't know his name. Uh, Jellish. Jellish. They the Jellish a... company did her nails, and the owner of the company did hers. Yeah. That was pretty cool. That was cool. For a magazine cover. I forget what it was. And what at was the, the movie that came out with Rocket Man? That's what it was uh, about. So it was very... Lot. Pointy. It was a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they were kind of crazy. And the funny thing was, I was getting my nails done at the very same time. So I'm like, show. she was sending me pictures that I'd show Macy that does my nails. I would show her. That was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Just a really weird timing. Um, I don't know. So many places. And we get, like, she never gets to see the finished pictures unless she goes and looks for them. So, um, when you guys share pictures that is this Abby like that's how she sees them when oh, you guys wow, come, that is me I never that, saw that that is me because so half the time I'm working and I never get to see the photos yeah she'll be on a shoot for like three or four days two days one day whatever they book her for or come across online or something and they'll snap 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 a thousand pictures or five thousand however many pictures right they just take pictures the whole time mm -hmm. and then she's done see you later and sometimes they'll let her see some and a couple of people have sent you but not very many mm -hmm. they really don't i mean they don't yeah. take time yeah I couple. See some stuff. but um th when she really sees this is when you guys share so that's super fun so mm -hmm. yeah wait what yeah. was that about the pawpaw screen wish you were on kelly's island with me who said Why somebody you know i'm still using a pawpaw cream. oh, oh it's so lip. good i do too i just had some I on had yesterday a little rash on my face and i put it on that too mm -hmm. so our um on my amazon store you know abby gets a lot i have of, an amazon store too yes you do we both do but i have all of her products they know mine on instagram go to instagram to Tammy Loves Vintage, and it's linked in my link tree. You can find it easily in, under makeup. I have uh, well, here's Abby why. and Summers. For your new new people, I, I've i been in the makeup chair for seven years, mm -hmm. getting my hair makeup done, going to facialists, getting all the stuff done. Professionally. So I do. know what, what people are using and not using. So mm -hmm. 
a lot of the products that I recommend that are my favorites that I've found because I'm always asking them like what's that do what's that or mm -hmm. they did a really good job in finding all the info on mm -hmm. it so if something's really I pretty, found sure. my favorite stuff so I share that with you guys um, and you and mm -hmm. then I have another Instagram called Align with Abby so I post a lot of my my health and my wellness how I work out how I mm -hmm. um, I don't know what else. It's I just do. Abby I, in general. What I eat, my personality. Yeah, if you look Instead up Abby Neff on Instagram, it's Abby dot Neff, isn't it? Yeah, but that's not. I know. I'm just gonna tell them. So Abby dot Neff is like her professional Instagram. That's what she started with. But then when she started getting agents and managers and all that, she has to run her posts kind of through them. So they have to approve everything. So she felt like she was doing all of these things, dieting and exercising. And she, you got your holistic, it's not holistic. What did you get? I just, I have limitations on my, on my other Instagram. What she's allowed to post. It's about my work and what the right. clients see and how they look at me, not right. how, who I really am. And it's how almost I, like a job interview. Yeah. Resume. It's your of. resume. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Your Instagram is your resume. So yeah. I have a lot of my modeling photos, but not what I do behind the scenes and how I pose and how I stand and how I mm -hmm. do my skincare, how I do my makeup, all those mm -hmm. things. So it's really, it's fun. And you went though, you went back to school like a health coach, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I got my health coaching certification. Certification, okay. So I don't just say, yeah, I eat this, and then I'm no credibility about it, so. Right, That. so yeah, she wanted to be a little official about what she was sharing. Certified. So if you wanna follow Abby, you're more than welcome. She is Abby Neff on Instagram, or on Facebook, uh, A-B-B-Y, Abby Neff, A-B-B-Y. She's Abby.Neff on Instagram, but her favorite is her Align with Abby, A-L-I-G-N, Align with Abby. And she came up with that because her name is Abby Lee Neff. She has her dad's middle name. A-L-N. A-L-N. And she came up with a line. But it's, it's, so. it's um, aligning you to your confident self. So trying mm -hmm. to help people mm -hmm. find tips and tricks in life on how to feel and look your best. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. very nice. And I think you would enjoy Align with Abby. I love it. Yeah. Some of your uh, Abby.Neff pictures are a little... Like I want to say, cover up a little bit like that. We don't, yeah. If it's too risque, I don't like Not it. Not recently. Because as a mom, you know, I can't like it. And I know a lot of you girls already know all of that. All of that. You probably look to see. Let's see if Tammy liked it. <laughs> well, now they're all going to look and they're going to see all That's these That's good. Then you'll get all new followers. Yeah. But they're On beautiful. On with Abby. I don't care about I you. I know. You guys yeah. aren't my clients. You're not in no, the world. But, they, but now they not. know you. Right, that's how I feel. It's fun to follow the people that you actually know. Yeah, you look at this account, so, and you're like, oh wow, uh, Kathy Spain. And then you she look at the it's other nice one. To meet Abby. Aw, hi. You look at my one account, and it's like, oh wow, yeah, she's a model. And then you look at my other one, and you're like, oh wow, yeah, she's a real person. So yeah. that's yeah. that's the yeah. Did I tell you that yeah. I had a girl go up to the Coshocton Fair from down in, in where Summer's at in uh, Scottsdale, mm -hmm. and she called and told me she was up there, and it was an hour from where I was working. So I was painting a door. Did I tell you about this? And I went and met her. I think so. Uh, must have been talking to Summer. Anyway, uh, Summer's my other daughter. So, um, yeah, so she's watching. Oh, cool. <laughs> so I went up in between coats on this front door I was painting because I'm like, what am I going to do for an hour? So, yeah. That's so nice. that's who that was. Um, yeah, a small world. Sometimes the world is so big and overwhelming, and yet there's other times where the world seems so small. And, um, yeah. Aw, thank you, Dee Dee. Nice to meet you, Abby. Oh, that was Kathy, yeah. That's a really cool account. Oh, thank you, Dee Dee. Thanks for sharing. You're very welcome. Yeah, Dee Dee is a big proud. cheerleader on my Yeah, line she's a good Abby cheerleader account. for all of us. My favorite healthy foods. Oh, Sandy. Well, I post it on my, um, on my Align page, but I love when I'm at home to make either chicken or fish in the air fryer. And then veg vegetables, so like sweet potatoes or any broccoli. We did fried cabbage a little while ago. Fried cabbage, mm -hmm. any vegetable really. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite things to eat. Yeah, she um, she's very very healthy. I like go macro bars if I'm on the go. I'll have eggs for breakfast usually. I have my smoothie no recipe on there. No toast. Avocado. Sometimes I have Ezekiel, Ezekiel bread, bread with mm -hmm. avocado on it to make an avocado toast. Ezekiel bread Sometimes is in the freezer I department if you've never tried it. it. Um, Ezekiel bread is in the freezer department if you've never heard of it. And I have 
this cheese. I don't know if you guys can get it because it's kind of hard for me to find too, but it's called Vita Veta Life or something. And it's made from potato starch, but it's a uh, vegan feta cheese and it's better than any cheese I've ever had. Hmm. Is it like kidding. a Trader Joe's It's in cheese? a little like a container. Creamy. Oh, it's a... No, it's like fat. It's like a block oh, cr and you break crumbles. it off. Oh, okay, I mean, okay. it's kind of wet. I don't know. I can't explain it, but it's okay. so good. I could just eat the whole block in one sitting. Well, there you go. So those are all of the things you'll and see on a line too. with Abby. Cashews. Mm. Of course. Don't. And peanut butter. So the hardest thing, though, is to have a health coach for a daughter. And... <laughs> well, when I come home to Fritos and junk in That's the fridge. That's your dad. <laughs> what did we just buy from the store? I don't know. Doritos and chips. Well, we're having an Ohio State cheese. party here in two hours. I, I can't serve fried cabbage. <laughs> you know? I would. We're going to have stuffed Come mushrooms. To my party. I have the best stuffed mushrooms with the secret ingredient. Yeah. It's a German thing that you can get on Amazon. Here's the thing. It's posted my store. I do it not only because I have to, but because now I'm used to eating healthy yeah. that I only feel good when I eat healthy. Yeah. She's got her sister doing it too. Summer but dropped a lot of well, weight, didn't she? I don't not a feel lot, well. But... And I like feeling good. Yeah. I don't have energy to work out or go through the day if I eat a bunch of bread. Yeah. I think you all can agree to to that. Yeah. If she lived here, I just might get a little thinner, but well, I might get unfortunately, a little bigger. She's unfortunately, she's going to leave. <laughs> well, that's the other way to look at it. And unfortunately, she's and... going to leave and I'm going to be all boohooey, so I'll gain another 10 pounds. Oh, stop. Oh, I don't want you to go. Yes, Neff. <laughs> Karen. Neff. N-E-F-F. -F. Yes, F-F -F, like Frank Frank. I follow a line with Abby. You follow Sherry a line with Abby. Yay. Sherry Eddie. Yay. What else? I love oh, my little baby. Yes, you do. Okay. Any I other do. questions? Yep. Yep. Sorry to bore you guys. I just wanted you to meet her. I talk about her all the time on here. Uh. Who said <laughs> that? Sorry, we're reading. reading. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, thank you, Nancy. There was another big one. Somebody wrote. That was Dee. Oh, okay. Wish you guys were in Kelly's oh, Island. Oh, we wish that too, Sherry. We do. We love Kelly's Island. Me too. Yeah, that pop pop cream is really good. I gotta go to lip tint. Lip tip. Accent, accent tip. What? Wow, that's a beautiful accent tip. What was that for? Probably my peas. Oh. Oh, you're thinking beauty. Yeah, I'm like, heck with that. What accent did I? Do? Yeah, you follow her for beauty and me for old stuff. <laughs> I'm so proud of my mama. Old She's stuff. so outspoken yeah. online and outgoing. And did you guys all see that video I did in my bathroom? Thank you guys all for, right. for supporting my yes, mama. Yes, thank you. I sent her that in the bathroom with my hair all pulled up and we made she a bra out and of the bathtub. Me. She said, did you see my video? And I got on there. I was at a restaurant too. Yeah. And I still got on there and watched it. I stepped out of the box. She's like, do more like that, Mom. Do more like that. I'm like, that was very hard to do. I don't know. I loved it. Yeah, it, it was, was fun. It was fun. It was fun, too. Yeah, it was super fun. I was proud of myself when I was all done. So, um, Kathy liked it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hello, Natalie. So, all right. You've lost 22 pounds. Somebody lost 20. Somebody lost 23 pounds. Wow. Gee whiz. When I got my new job, I only started my new job. You only eat for dinner. Good for you, dinner Christina. Dinner early. Good for her. That's my biggest. Timmy is a rock. Ooh, I have suggestion. So my biggest and number one tip for anybody that's trying to eat less or lose weight: intermittent fasting. I knew you were going to say that. But not only that, if you don't, wow. if you don't Jeez. do intermittent fasting and you have to eat breakfast early because you get up early, do whatever your body needs. I will always say whatever your body needs. However, having an early light dinner is the biggest key that I can give. Have mm -hmm. an early light dinner versus mm -hmm. wait all day, don't right. eat, and then you have a huge dinner and then you go to bed. You got to have a bigger lunch and a bigger breakfast so that you're not as hungry for dinner. And then you just have something light early. And then when you go to sleep at night, your body is metabolizing less. See, I know all about it. I just don't do it. Don't we all? Well, mm -hmm. true. We can true. all do that. I true do that story. Too. I mean, <laughs> it's story. honestly like you don't have to go on any hard, extreme, crazy diets or cut anything out. Just don't eat as much before yep. bed. Not so much before bed. 16 to 18 hours. Yes, Kate. Yes. I mean, honestly, right. intermittent fasting is hard for me because I travel and I'm on different time zones. Suddenly it's, you know, 8 a.m. for me. So I'm eating and it's what, 5.30 p.m. here. So... 
it's hard. And now I'm here and I'm in LA and that's three hours. So if I eat at noon here, it's technically 9 a.m. there, but I don't eat until 12. So I can't think about it's it like that. It's if I'm hungry, I'll eat. And I hate the time Done. change thing. You know, when you wake up in the morning, that's when you are thinking about all of the things, you know, and I want to text my girls and tell them this or that, or make sure you do this today, or watch me this or that. Hope you guys see my video or whatever. And they're asleep and I got to wait three hours. They're both three hours behind me. Um, and then the time's going to change again here on the 7th of November. So who knows how the heck far off we're going to be. I think we get a little, oh, do you drink wine? That's a very good question. I do drink wine. I'm drinking wine right now. Yeah, her favorite is... But I uh, love to drink water, and yesterday we were out yeah, having drink. drinks, and I had more water than I had alcohol, and I yeah, felt great, and I just, you always balance it, and I don't know that there is anything wrong with having a little bit of wine at night. Wine's probably better than beer, I huh? think it's fine. Well, I don't know. To each their own. I don't like the feeling that beer makes me feel mm. loaded. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah. Arizona. There you all go. Yeah, you're right. You'll be two hours ahead. Okay, two hours instead of three. Well, that's yeah. better at Come least. On. Yeah, Arizona yeah. doesn't change. And Water then my and sister wine. and I yes, get on Sherry. different time zones, which is weird. You do? Mm -hmm. She doesn't change. Her time zone Right, and yours does? Mm -hmm. Oh. So what will you be an hour different maybe? Well, I'll move like you do. We'll be in the same. Oh. So you and Summer We'll be the be... same? No. No, we won't be the we'll same. We'll both move three or one hour. Summer doesn't move, so you okay. guys will now be two hours okay. away. Okay, well, that's better. Anyway, it's so confusing. I, yeah, the craft-a-thon, Melanie just messaged me and said, you're going to be on at, what time did she say? I think she said 11.20 on Saturday on the 21st. Or, I didn't know, it's November. And um, she said, let me know you got this. And I said, okay, but I'm not going to confirm the Eastern time because time is going to change. Last time, wasn't the last time, the craft-a-thon before last, I was supposed to be on at a certain time and I'm like one of those people, the minute I get it, I go write it down and I figure what time that's really is my time and I wrote it down and the time changed and I didn't think about it. Oh no. So no, I, would, no, I was no, killing no. time. I was all set up and I had like, I thought I had three hours to kill. So I was out antique shopping and I was almost home and she texts and she's like, where are you? You're on now. And I'm like, no way. And she says, yes. And I said, no, I have another hour. Uh. And I was supposed to be on. So she bumped me back to like six o'clock that night. So I'm like, I am so now every time I get one of those central standard times, I'm sweating. Like what? Just tell me what time it is Eastern because <laughs> I'm afraid I'll mess up. So I messaged her and said, okay, I wrote it down, but there's a time change coming. So I'm not exactly sure what time I'll be on, but okay, I got it. So it's so hard. Math is so hard for me. So, all right, you guys, that's all we have. We're just chit chatting now. I had so one more thing. Oh, well go for it. When I was doing keto for about a year, I messed up my entire metabolism. What? Okay. Because it's so much fat and protein and my stomach wasn't digesting anything and I'm still kind of trying to heal my gut from that because it was a lot of bacon and eggs and cheese and I wasn't having vegetables so now I'm trying to eat whole balanced meals so that I don't feel like I'm tricking my body in any way so yeah. if I have a carb my body doesn't react to it and then do this whole yo-yo diet where it's like in and out in and out mm -hmm. it's consistent I just eat healthy I don't think about the carbs I don't count my calories mm -hmm. um and yeah, that just worked a lot better for me. But I did lose a lot of weight really fast on keto. Mm -hmm. But after I, I remember didn't feel her good. very first when her agent here from from Columbus said we're going. Was it when she was going to go to Chicago or was it California? Chicago. She was going to go to Chicago. And she said, "But you've got to lose what she say like ten pounds or something. No, five like pounds. an inch and a half on my waist. Okay, okay, that's hips. what it was. I can't remember. But and she was so skinny anyway. But she wanted to lose. So I never been told to lose weight, and that created a huge eating disorder. Where I just, yeah. I mean, I never was really had a disorder, but I was obsessive about yes. it. Yeah. Everything I ate, and then that turned into me, you know, like a the planters pe peanuts. Mm -hmm. This little like the lid of it. I used to take. A little handful of peanuts and put it in the lid and then just suck on one peanut at a time mm -hmm. and that would be my dinner every night for like two months mm -hmm. and I was so hungry and I was so miserable and I was not happy mm -hmm. and I got my weight down and I looked very skinny I should show you a too photo. skinny so skinny bones terrible like yeah and you know when they're going through that you can't the more you obsess over it one time the more I try to make her eat the more she one time we were at the dinner table and I went to eat a dinner roll and dad goes don't do that. You're going to ruin your career. Yeah. That was she about 
died. Yeah, because I was like so happy to see her gonna take a bite of that. Uh, yeah, that wasn't good. But he was kidding. He was kidding. But, it, but I didn't need it. She didn't take it like kidding. She just threw it right back and didn't need it. Yeah. I don't know if you... Yeah, that's a good one to show. Maybe. No? I don't know if you can tell. You're so chiseled. I don't know. No. That, no? Uh, that first one was more skinny. It doesn't matter. She was thin. She's thin now. Yeah, that's Not good. Look at the bones. Even look like look at her bones on her back, on her shoulder and her back, and yeah, I don't look like yeah, that anymore. She is really yeah. Anyway, I talk about all that on my Align page too. Yeah, so that's Align crazy. with Abby is a very great page if you just want a little cheerleading, a little inspiration. Um, it's only on Instagram. It's called Align with Abby. A L I G N. A lot of it does go to my mm -hmm. Facebook. So, do you share I, to Facebook? Okay. I think it do you have a line uploads. with Abby or is it Abby Neff? It's just my, my account. Abby Neff. Okay. I so you I have a page, Abby Neff. I think that's yeah. it. And then everything goes. You there. would have to ask to be their friend, your friend, right? They would have to ask I think you they to have be to your just friend. Like it. I don't know. Yeah, because that's a business page. It's probably your I don't personal. Know. I don't really do Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're looking at all your messages. They are under they pressure. Are. Yes. Are. Yeah. Just yeah, we were just at grandma's house and we were talking about all of that and all the demands and and all the expectations and the competition and yeah. I mean, you walk in a room where she's doing a casting and there'll be, you know, 30 girls that look exactly like her. How do they pick one, you know? So it's it's really hard. Yeah, keto I would say keto is hard because it's full of cholesterol too. Hi, huh, dad. Cholesterol? Love it. <laughs> Can't get enough of it. All right, you guys, we better get to cooking. We got some friends coming over here for the Buckeyes game. And um, all there's, there's Randy. Dad's got a shrimp cocktail out. I yeah. Need it to work. What? That shrimp cocktail. Volume. Oh, we'll help you. Uh, so, okay. Is that it? Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for meeting my daughter, Abby. I'm so proud of her. Yay, proud of you. Yeah, and I miss Summer. I wish she was here. Oh, H, that's right, I Kathy's owe. thing. I owe for sure. Uh, okay, you guys, have a great night. I hope you grab some beans. Better beans. <laughs> some good beans and, and uh, share a picture. I gotta go curl my hair before this thing or straighten it or something. I'm a little oh, you got two hours. old. Yeah, but I gotta cook too, so. Well, I'm gonna help you cook. Go Buck Sherry, that's right. Yeah, we're and gonna smell do these cooking. little Christmas sticks. Yeah, I already stuck some around. They're okay. good. Get yourself some Christmas sticks. Get yourself. All right, we're if losing you want them. the green peas, get them. Get them now so you can have them for Christmas and then you can throw them out when they turn yellow. Bye. <laughs> bye bye, friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. You're welcome. We'll bye -bye. see you. <laughs>